Hey you guys, I'm going to show you today how I put uh, our replica John Winchester medals in the John Winchester Supernatural Journal. Here's my journal and here are my medals and you can see, I mean they're not perfect. They're kind of crooked and that's okay because you figure John isn't going to be super uptight about how he's stuck his medals in there. He's just going to get them on his journal. So I'm going to show you. Um, the reason we had to keep them separate is that some people have the actual military medals that they want to put in their John Winchester replica journal. And then also, um, if we had shipped them in place, it would have damaged the journals and it would have damaged the medals probably. So anyway, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. I've had a lot of people ask about it. And um, there's a look at mine. Okay guys, when you get your John Winchester journal, it comes with this protective cardboard in there that you can just, it's just a shipping thing, so you just rip it out and it comes with, and it should come out, you know, pretty easily. Um, and all of it comes out, you just take it from both sides and throw that away. That's just protective um, shipping paper. So then you've got your clean journal here with your pages in it. It comes with the articles and the um, medals if you get the bundle. So. To put the medals in it, open it up, and you can see that they are pin backed. This is the best way I thought to do it. I wasn't sure what other method would be best um, for this type of, of you know placement on a journal, but I figured this was the best way to go. So you take all of your medals off of your card. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to show you. I just am pretty you know, quick about it. And I just try to take a little bit of the leather, poke it right through, look at where the hole goes. I'm sorry, my fan is super loud on my computer. And then just work it through there. And I don't even necessarily close it if I can't. If it's too close, I just don't close it. You know, and mine haven't come off. I think that two of them are not closed. So just a little bit up and through. Line it up, boom. And if you even want to leave it like that, and you can kind of move them back and forth just a little bit. Then I do this one. Just like that. There's the lineup. Boom. And, you know, like I said, mine aren't perfect on my first one. They're not going to be perfect, perfectly straight on this one. It's just a matter of getting them in place and... Boom. There you go. And then these two up at the top. I mean, obviously these are far easier of all of the ribbons and metals to put in. But make sure you don't poke your finger. I put my finger in between there. Flip it back. Stick on your backs. And then this one. Okay. There the metals are in place. There's a protective um, sheet on the beginning. You can take that off. You can leave it in if you want. I think uh, Tracy in her journal put the house fire article on the first page when John talks about burying his wife. Um, obviously, just clip them in there. There are all of the diary pages, and then we go into the monster pages. And, you know, I just kind of, you know, like this spot, um, I thought, okay, Let's put our funeral notice there. It seems like a good place for it on here. I think it was originally an article um, about Dukakis. Well, of course, we couldn't use any of those proper names or any of that kind of stuff. So we kind of, you know, had to make our own uh, tidbits to go in here. Um, we have a couple of blank pages in here that you can add stuff in. Like this is a perfect place for the turducken slammer. You can use binder clips. You can use, you know, I have old photos, scary old photos that we sell and I put in there. Um, there's a lot of cool things that you can do to this and, and add to some of the pages. Of course, you can just lay the mystery spot brochure in here if you want. Um, you know, make it your own. Add your own pieces to it, too. And then, as we go along, we are going to add even more monster pages. But we give you um, a full, like, 40 pages that you can write your own notes from the shows and so forth in. So, there you have it. There's how I added the medals and pens to my journal. Okay, I just thought I'd give you a last look at my own journal. There it is with the medals, one of my creepy photos in place, um, red rosary beads, the front pages, um, 
some more photos I've added to it. Um, binder clips. What did I put on the back of that? Mm -hmm. Two Duck and Slammer. I just saw that episode today. It's in season six. Um, a lot of the articles are from actual episodes. So, for example, Supernaturally Musical is one that, that we created because, you know, we figured if they went to the musical, they might see a little newspaper review about it. Father Slaughter's Family, that's from the Providence episode with the creepy painting. Um, the one that's like Missing Man from Broward County, that's the Mystery Spot episode. More photos that I've added. Um, some of our stickers that I put on the pages. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Okay, that's all I'm going to say right there because I'm fangirling. Missing Persons, that's the one from um, Mystery Spot. Sticker. Creepy old lady. There you go. That's a walkthrough. That's my own journal. Um, I let people flip through it at conventions. Um, and it's okay. It's getting a little frayed, like my front page, because I've had, you know, literally hundreds of people flip through it. But I want people to be able to see every page and see what they can do with it and, you know, just make it your own. Thanks, you guys.